So a lot of people ask exactly how do I cast a cornerstone mold, which is what we're going to be doing today. Now first you're obviously going to need the cornerstone mold and you're also going to need a 90 degree scaffold type thing to hug the back wall. Just like that. Next our concrete is going to be made out of one part cement and two parts sand and 5% of the total weight of the cement being our dye. Keep in mind that the more pigment you add, the weaker your concrete's gonna be. You're gonna wanna pre-mix all of this while it's dry, and when you're doing that, I like to put the sand on the bottom so that none of the cement gets stuck in the corners around the bottom. I'm also gonna add 1% of the total cement weight of uh, super plasticizer, which basically reduces the amount of water that you need, making your concrete a lot stronger, especially now that we're making something very, very thin. Before we do any of that, we have to spray our mold with some release, otherwise you're not gonna get the concrete out. Now we're going to put our board down, clamp it down, and put concrete into these holes so that our crease is in a more convenient place for us when we're demolding. And now we wait for this to dry just enough for our concrete not to leak out when we flip it over but not so long that the concrete completely dries and the two concrete mixes won't stick together. Now we take it, cover it in plastic, and leave it overnight. It's the next morning, time to demold and see what happens. Now usually you take out your concrete the day after you cast it, which I did with this mold and one of my bricks broke because it's especially thin and very, very fragile in this corner. A way to solve this is to wait a little bit longer, maybe wait two days before demolding it. The longer you wait, the stronger your concrete's gonna be. 